Who Are You? Oh, that's a good song. I won't go that way, though. We're not doing that this series. But we are talking about a song or a hymn as we answer the question, Who Am I? And we're in hymn 594. If you have your hymnal there with you, or if you've learned it by heart, that's even better. God's own child, I gladly say it. So the first video, the first time together, we answer the question, Who Am I? in relation to God the Father, to the the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Who am I? I'm God the Father's baptized child because Jesus has paid it all for me. I'm baptized into Christ. So who are we in relation now to sin? I mean, we are the saints, but what is sin? Sin disturbed my soul no longer. I am baptized into Christ. I have comfort even stronger. Jesus' cleansing sacrifice. Should a guilty conscience seize me? Since my baptism did release me in a dear forgiving flood, cleansing me with Jesus' blood. I think I got that right. Yeah, I got it right. It's fun times. So who am I in relation to sin now? Is sin something that should drag me down, that should define me, that disturbs me, that corrupts me? No, sin is, is now in Christ overcome. It is washed away. I am now, and so are you, not some sinner trying to become a saint by my works, but now a saint who now struggles with sin. A saint who struggles. Yes, we have doubt. We have anxieties. We have regrets. We have lust. We have anger. We have jealousy. We have hatred. We have idolatry. We have laziness. We have the eye rolling. We have the us. We have all these things. They still corrupt us every day. They still come at us every day. But they don't define you anymore. You are not defined by your sin. You are defined by your baptism. Who am I? God the Father's baptized and beloved child who is forgiven all of your sin. That's your relation to sin now, my brothers and sisters. It is obliterated. It is done. It is forgotten. It is remembered no more. Taken as far as the east is from the west, drowned into the depths of the sea. That's sin in relation to you now. It disturbs your soul no longer. Even when a guilty conscience seizes you, as it should, right? The law hits us and guilt comes in. It seizes us. We take courage because Christ has taken care of that sin. You are forgiven. And in the words of holy absolution spoken from your pastor as by Christ himself, you are ushered back into your baptismal grace carried through this life unto the joys of heaven, immortal. Who are you? God's baptized child, forgiven all of your sin. God bless y'all. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.